What's up YouTube, DPD19 back here again, and we're going to do a quick review on the MetaZoo pin collection, the Cryptid Nation one, and I only got my first, whoops, first package, and that's with five Mothman ones, so this is just based off of this one. I don't know if some of stuff I dealt with in terms of the cards would be the same for others. I don't know. But I'll just give you my experience of what I noticed just from the Mothman pins themselves. So let's open this up. <clears throat> so I gotta say, condition of the pins has been very good in my opinion. I thought it was high quality. Pin Club did an amazing job. It's definitely high quality, worth the money for the pin. And then there's the two little end pieces so the point isn't sticking out but that is what a lot of this is going to be based on so the pin love it 10 out of 10 highly recommend you get the little glitter even in and i'm not a fan of glitter but in this case i think it really works well helps the artwork pop but <clears throat> when you first receive this you get it sealed within here and then you have the pin club like this and then your promo like that so it's like that so as you can see there is wiggle room for it to bend and get damaged because of these two little prongs now I think it should have just been a bigger box and it be held separately or this be squared off uh, closed off and then you have the promos outside I think that would have been perfectly fine and I get it, they tried to maximize space, and it just didn't work in my opinion, it's messed up. But you see, the back and forth, it can damage the cards. And I was looking over your guys' experience and some of your guys' opinion, and some of it I agree with, some of it I disagree with, and we're going to go over that in this video. So, some of you guys were saying that with the hollow, well, with the, the cards... It's hit or miss on like the Mothman of whether you get a good one or a bad one and whatnot. So I will agree that the hollows in front don't have as bad of damage from these prongs or any at all. You see, you, you see, uh, kind of lifted up over there. A little bit of damage, but in right over there. A little bit of damage. I mean, it's... I can deal with it. It's not an obvious crease, so no big deal. You don't expect a perfect card every single you know, opening. If so, you got PSA 10s every single one. Ooh, the card wouldn't be worth anything. PSA 10, PSA 9, near mint, whatever. But it's there's a lot of them that just have that crease and that issue. But it seems like because the promo was on front, mind you, it's only one card, so it doesn't really matter that there's... The layer of packaging in front is still rather flimsy. Obviously, it only has one in the pack. Any pack is going to be flimsy. So, it can still have some damage in it. Still have that damage. But it's less likely because the promo is in front. So, any other cards that are the promo that's meant with the pin. Um, let's say half, maybe a little less than half. I don't know. I haven't seen other pins will be damaged or have some form of damage and the other half won't. Or they'll have something, even if most will at least have something, like even that. But there won't be like obvious damage, like a crease like I'm about to show you now. So these are the cards. Pulled that one and I pulled these from the extra pin club packs. So it seems like you can pull any card from the actual promos in here, which is pretty cool. Um, it's different. I think it does devalue the promos that you get. But I think it's a good idea for people that only bought, say, three or four, couldn't afford it, and they have a chance to pull a lot of them. Or if they buy, like, ten, that's all they could afford. They could still purchase, they could still get all of them if they weren't able to get each individual uh, pin. So I like that concept. But I noticed pretty much with all of them, I'm going to go over each one right now, had those indent marks. So let's see if we can focus. So you see that, that, that's a pretty obvious indent, pretty obvious indent. 
And on the back, it doesn't show it as clearly. You can kind of see it right there. Right there. But in the front, that's what you first see. It's a shame, and some people say that it's more often than not that you won't get it. I disagree because this is right there. Let's focus. This is in the front. This is the car that's going to get damaged. It's, it's the one that's going to get damaged no matter what. Because all of the promo cards we'll just tap it every time we need to focus have the same exact and then some worse than others this one one of the worser ones see it clearly there the back you can see it same area like I said not as bad on the back but you can tell if you look at it in the light right there and there's the regular like imperfections on meta zoo backs like the random indents which i i'll never get what it's from i know it's during the sheathing process i i don't get it but hopefully they can fix it in the future and here's another one flatwoods monster and i had a couple people say that they had the same thing happen right over there right there if my camera would focus See right there, that's one of the Borsa ones. Said so that do the sheeting process when they cut the sheets or roll the sheets, whatever it is. They said it was probably due to that because in Nightfall they had that issue. Now, I didn't have that issue with Nightfall. Do I believe that that is an issue with Nightfall? Sure, yeah. The print quality, in my opinion, got worse. But in this case, I I disagree. I don't I don't think that's the problem here. I think it's these cards are right there in the front pin is damaging it and i mean it, it's every single one the only one that you didn't see it as much if really at all was surprisingly this one bathe the blue ox now why didn't this one get it i'm gonna go with it's hard it's uh less flimsy because it has the layer of hollow on it uh, you can still see it's there. You just see it less. You see right there. It's kind of hard to get in the light when you have the hollow. You also have it right there. You have the back. You can tell better. That's that's it right there. You have random meta zoo damage. You have it for other damage, but you also see there. Kind of hard to get in the lighting with the focus because my camera's being annoying. You can see it lifted up. It still has the lifted up part, but it's not as bad. Why? I'm going to guess because it's a hollow. Because when I hold this one, it's it, the layer of hollow definitely makes it a little less flimsy. Yeah, just just feeling them. It's a little less flimsy. And it's not as strong as the hollow would be. So I'm going to go with that's why the hollow wasn't as damaged. But there's going to be some form of damage on these from the Pin Club Mystic Pack. And no matter what, I don't think... Mo if, if you're looking to grade the cards, don't do it. it you're going to have some form of damage. PSA is going to see that. And it's going to get a 7 at best. Now, I wasn't really expecting anything to grade. Maybe a couple, maybe. But I just want to collect them all and have them all. And to be honest, I personally don't really want to collect anything with damage like that or like creases. So I've only actually kept two of the promos out of the five that I got from the Mothman because I thought they were decent enough. And I'm probably just going to get them graded just because it'll force me to not sell it. <laughs> I've done that with a bunch of cards before. Where I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'll sell it down the line. If I go to grade it and I have to wait a year, year and a half, then I can't touch it. I'm forced to not sell it, which is great for me because I get to keep it and see it later on. But I don't know. I, I just don't think it really worked with what they tried. I think hopefully with the 
uh, Nightfall once because I bought five boxes, which is a lot of money. <laughs> and I was gonna keep four sealed, hopefully, and open one box. I'm questioning even opening the box because these pins, if it is this style, I'm gonna be inclined not to open any of them or many of them because it's just gonna have the same issue. Now, could the other ones not have that issue? Sure, I only have the sample size of the Mothman. If they don't have two prongs, if they only have one, I think they're still gonna be damaged, but it, maybe not as much, I don't know. The prongs definitely have to do with the damage on these cards from this one. The promos seem to be okay. They're not perfect. A lot of the ones I opened, I didn't get any perfect ones. And one or two of them that I did keep. It still has a little bit of the issue there. But not really enough to be a big issue. And you always have the small issues with MetaZoo cards. I mean, to me, it's a bigger issue than most people probably. Let me see if I can find it so like you see indent there indent there indent there like it, it's not a gradable card and the quality seems to be getting worse indent there and in there like the, the sheeting process cutting rolling the sheets that's got to get fixed with that damage and i do believe that it can cause damage but at the end of the day these Cause issues and to anyone buying them from any sellers, please don't buy them with the expect of a perfect card. Expect them to have some sort of damage or look to make sure that there isn't damage when you buy it because you could get screwed over and pay $20 for a sinkhole Sam or $15, whatever it is, when it has damage on it. I'm selling all these over here. That one will be for sale eventually, but I'm showing them as with the damage that I think is a big deal. Some people don't think it's a big deal. I I disagree personally, just because I'm more of a collector than a player of MetaZoo. Same thing with like Yu-Gi-Oh, which I mainly collect. I am huge on condition and especially straight out of the pack, I expect better from MetaZoo. I understand they're a newer game, but it seems like card companies just aren't the same as they used to be. Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh! when they first came out actually had, in my opinion, better quality cards than some of the stuff they're putting on now. And if MetaZoo could replicate Wizards of the Coast type, uh, type of quality, then I'd be okay with that. A little white speck here or there. Like, that's the one thing they do well. I don't see really any white specks. I don't really see any white specs ever, which is a huge plus, but they need to fix the indents on pretty much all the cards. It's just annoying for collectors, personal, me personally, probably some other collectors or anyone that wants to create it, they think you have a perfect card and then you'll come back and spend your money and get an eight. When on the surface it looks perfect, but it, it's actually not. But uh, I don't know. It's, it's a shame. I don't think these are going to... I think anything that grades well or is in mint condition is going to be highly sought after because you won't see as nearly as many. I think it's like 10,000 print of each. You're not going to see that many mint copies. And especially from these, you're, you're not seeing any mint copies. That's not a shot in hell. <laughs> but hopefully some of the promos ended up all right. Some of you guys get some... I, I do love the hollow. I do love the quality of the card. Like the fronts. The fronts, even if there's a print line here there, I don't care. That's fine. Any card game, you're going to have that issue. But the backs, they got to fix. And they got to fix how they package it. They, they got to fix that. I love this, you know, layout and everything. It's great. But the backs, I'm hoping I'm wrong about all the other pins. The, was it, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other nine pins, I hope I'm wrong, but from the looks of it, it looks like they're all going to require two prongs, and that could be a huge issue. And you'll see the same thing with other ones. Hopefully not. I hope I'm wrong. I'll update you guys when I get any other in. I'm going to open a couple probably, and then maybe just keep the rest sealed. And we'll 
we'll see how it goes. Sorry for the long 15 minute video on rants. I just want to go over it because I was answering a couple comments that I got. I just want to go over my opinion just through words in the video because it's take way too long. I already said long enough comments. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully I'm wrong with the other ones having the same issues. But these don't do do me do yourselves a favor. If these are sold separately, do not buy them. Don't buy it. Buy it only in the promo pack from what it's originally supposed to be or buy the box even especially if you want the pin buy the box don't buy these separately unless they're sealed if they're not sealed in this don't buy it because for all you know it's from this extra pack and you're gonna get screwed with a damage card have to deal with return or you might not even realize it <laughs> you might not look into it into light and see that issue because it's something that can be missed if you're not uh, very well known of what to look for in the game like knowing what to look for with cards and stuff so i'm gonna stop rambling <laughs> and i will catch you guys in the next one let me know your opinions let me know what you thought about what i said if you think i'm wrong if you think you know these didn't do anything to do with it um after the evidence i showed you guys if you think i'm full of it if there's any other things you you want to comment on feel free and I'm more than glad to have a discussion about it. And hopefully I can have an update with uh, all the other pins I get. So we'll see how that goes. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.